What's good? What's good? I was grocery shopping today and I don't have access to like a full kitchen space. So I have to be slightly creative in some of my meal prepping. Um, and I realized that, uh, when you throw in the variable of having to also be frugal, that adds like another layer of stress. And it hit me that I, I, I've, I don't want to, I've been a bit of a hypocrite for a lot of reasons. I'm advocating for people to endeavor to lose weight. And I've forgotten how daunting beginning that journey can be. And so I feel bad. Especially if you're working a lot and you don't have a lot of money, it can be really tough. If you have Instagram, go check out Autumn Smith NTP. I did an interview with her. Links. Um, she provides a lot of free resources, which is cool. But I wanted to talk about this concept of meta motivation. Popular, those peas pop. I gotta get some. Anyways, meta motivation was popularized by Abraham Maslow, and I love referencing him. He also constructed the template, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's like the pyramid. Um, check it out. I think I've done videos on it. So, anyways, meta motivation is the idea that. You just want to make the smallest amount of progress or momentum every day. And you can apply it globally to your life as a whole, but then also granularly on specific things. And I'll give an example of more hypocrisy from my life. I have worked as a massage therapist, and I tell people that yoga Doing yoga will change their life. Do I do yoga? No. I'm a hypocrite. So I've actually been for the last week starting my day with a 10-minute stretch routine. It has helped my back, and I know that if I can be more diligent, my back will feel better. Um, but in this world of being overwhelmed, it can be easy to not want to spend a whole bunch of time trying to learn how to diet and how to learn how to do an hour long yoga session on your own. Um, it can be very daunting. And so when you begin, I also love the Tao Te Ching. So one of the expressions there is, uh, the journey of a thousand miles begins at your feet. So you just have to start. And if you start with the idea of just making a little bit of progress every day to build a giant ball of momentum, that's how results get made. That's how progress can be achieved. It's just starting somewhere and every day just trying to be a little bit better. So maybe instead of stretching for 10 minutes tomorrow, I'll stretch for 12. And then I'll work my way up. I might try to be a yoga instructor because it would be good for my body and my budget. <laughs> oh, man, my back. I can't keep doing manual labor. I've been doing it for like 25 years, and I'm only 33. Not consistently. Now I'm just bitching. Um, anywho, um, yeah. now it's just awkward I don't know if I want to re-record all of this or just leave it meta motivation I believe in you